82-year-old coppersmith learned copper art from his father since he was 13. After retiring from a factory in 1986, he had regained his craft and opened a copper shop. Usually, Mr. Zheng Sheng Gao focuses on the creation of copper art in addition to helping the neighbors to repair damaged copper products. In 2016, Mr. Zheng's copper art was officially included in Wuhan Intangible Cultural Heritage Project. I do it because I like the art of it. What I made was admired by a lot of people. The more they admire, the more I want to do it, even if those crafts don't make money. I like to do difficult crafts. As long as my works will be able to spread in the world, it's enough. The copper shop was frequently visited by some copper art enthusiasts. Mr. Zheng likes to chat with those who love handmade copper crafts. If there is an expert, he will talk happily with him. Today, Professor Zhuo Zhijiang from one of the universities in Wuhan has become an honored guest of Mr. Zheng. Art crafts made by modern industry pay attention to consistency and each one is a copy of another. However, handmade crafts can be the manifestation of every idea of the creator and each craft is unique. Professor Zhu praised Mr. Zheng's Yellow Crane Tower, a miniature of one of Wuhan City's symbols, which is extremely sophisticated. He also spoke highly of the fall of the Lotus Pond, which is the perfect combination of craftsmanship with art. I hope to find a successor as soon as possible, or I'll be too old and it'll be too hard for you to find a coppersmith with such good craftsmanship like me. Mr. Zheng once had a few apprentices, but they did not stay long enough to learn more skills because they had to make a living. Mr. Zheng called on financial support for people who want to inherit his old copper art. Zhu Yongtao for CGTN from Wuhan.